Marty Sampson. That name reverberates in the Christian sectors, especially in the worship industry. This is a guy who wrote songs upon songs upon songs and performed them and led many people in quote unquote worship. Then a couple of months ago he went and said that he is losing his faith and he walked out of church. He's been very active on Instagram and uh, this morning I had an opportunity to interact with him where he had posted some quote from a guy called Guivelas something like that. Let me read you that quote. It's going something like this. This is like reading myself a few years ago. I am the son of a second generation pastor so Christianity has been there my entire life. You can imagine the problems I started to have when I was making these exact questions. I was seeking for an answer just like you and I received one. I will never forget the day I accepted the fact that God was not real. The freedom I felt was something else. I have been an atheist ever since and I've never looked back. I don't know if you are heading this way but I just wanted to share my experience with you. Peace mate. So that was being written to Marty Samson by that person. And just below that I went and I shared my thoughts just uh, something that i want to share today on our t- on our topic today and i said this i said the beauty of it all is that you have a decision to make you have a working mind hence these posts you have a witnessing heart and the ability to believe whatever it is that you want you have a conscience So feel free to make a decision using all the above and move on. Marty was not happy. He replied and told me, "You move on." And then I replied and I said, "Don't we all make a decision at some point in time and then we move on and we live according to that decision?" He retorted and he said, "No. We each do what we want when we want, how we want." take your comments and leave if that's what you want to do if you want to stay and keep commenting on my post be my guest but don't presume you can tell me what to do what i'm going to do and i'm not going to listen to you all right today in the podcast i want to talk about something that is absolutely interesting and believe me i am not talking about religion You want to stay tuned for this one. Welcome to the Life Signatures podcast with Lawrence Namale. Lawrence is a life coach, author, and keynote speaker who loves to talk about different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. Let me start by sharing with you what I think that there is one great game changer, one major game changer in my life and in your life. It is the greatest leveler of all humans. Every one of us are leveled and we are brought to equal status by this one game changer. everyone from any tribe any race virtually everyone from any walk of life is brought to the same level with this same game changer and all of us are accorded 
this game changer. With the same resources, it makes some successful and renders others to be failures. In life, and yes, in everything that we do, everything that has gone, everything that has come, it has been and indeed it will remain the biggest weapon that we possess to create our life signatures here on earth. It has a price. The price is not monetary. It is not material. The price is the price of courage. Do you know what this game changer is? This prize of courage is what I was encouraging Marty Samson to have. I was basically telling Marty, make a decision. Make a decision whether you want to believe in God or you do not want to believe in God and move on. Let your life live towards the decision you've made. Stop acting like a slay king uh, wanting all the attention for six months down the line make a decision already and be identified let us know where you stand of course that didn't go on well with him but this game changer it creates instant change it helps us to unlock potential it helps people to get unstuck from their crisis it dispels fear in an instant where fear still pervades it motivates action despite of it it helps create a desired outcome so this game changer stems from the very first day of our existence huh as human beings here on earth the greatest gift i believe the greatest gift we have comes to us because we have the power to choose and that's what i want to talk about in this podcast today the power to choose you are a result of choices where your life will end is a result of choices and when you find yourself in a, an atmosphere where you're vacillating between choices you are not making a stand and sticking your life on the stand or on the choice that you've made. Nothing happens. No growth happens. Stagnation becomes part and parcel of your life. So decision making and choices are one of the greatest things. And that's why I said earlier on that it's a leveler. Every single human being has a choice to make. And you know you are equipped. The same thing I was telling Marty Samson. That you have a decision to make. You have a working mind. You have a mind that works. It thinks. It analyzes. You have a heart. And you have a spirit that witnesses. In other words, you sense some... There's this thing we call the sixth sense. You know when something is right. You know when something is wrong. And I tell him, I told him, you have a conscience. When something wrong happens, you are not settled. Make a decision already. And stake your life on it. And move on from there. In yesterday's podcast, we talked about course correction and correct your course as you keep on moving. You cannot be oscillating and vacillating between options and want to move on in life. Of course, it is his life. It is not my life. But just just the fact that he came public and is posting these things on a public platform such as Instagram attracted my attention. I thought, honestly, I did not even expect the backlash. I thought I was helping. Maybe I was rude in my approach. But to be honest with you, you do make a decision and you move from the decision that you've made. Even God himself is held back by a human who has not decided. The greatest gift that God is going to give you is going to be as a result of your choice. God doesn't force it down your throat. You choose. You decide. I think we were created as human beings to have these myriads of options and possibilities to think through. 
and then we make an informed decision using our minds using our hearts using our heads using our consciences we make the decisions that we do and then we move on in life but if you come to that level where you have not made a decision huh you have not made a decision there's some those i'm not talking about you but there are some guys who are dating for 12 years they just can't make a decision 12 years what what do you want to know i mean are you whatever but you make a decision and you move on as early as possible i think one of the greatest leaders i ever had he spoke and he said there is at times the, you, when you a, a leader there is never going to be a luxury of you to think through a lot you make a decision and at least once you move with the decision feedback is going to come back into your life and you can alter from then on decisions normally determine action decisions normally set off consistency and momentum but without making a decision i don't know what it is that you are facing today in your life and of course in this podcast we always talk about purpose we talk about productivity and we talk about resilience have you made a decision as far as purpose is concerned have you decided to live a life on purpose if you haven't made a decision to live a life on purpose guess what's happening probably you're not living as god intended like we shared in the previous episodes you're not living towards your full potential because you haven't make a, made a decision about it have you made a decision about being productive there is no way you're going to be a productive human being and there is no way your day is going to count if you do not make a decision the moment you make a decision that's the moment things start falling into place think about that even god himself does not arbitrarily give us the greatest gift we can ever ask for without us choosing deciding making the decision that we do want it he cannot force us see this is one of the greatest paradoxes of life it is sad and it is sweet at the same time it is sad because very many people the world over are waiting on god you're waiting for god to choose for you waiting for god to make a move for you but you're wasting time god gave you a brain he gave you a conscience he gave you a heart he gave you a spirit he gave you an instinct he gave you a brain to use to reason and to make a decision and if you feel like you're vacillating he gave you a mind to ask for counsel scripture tells us that in the multitude of counsel there is establishment go to war with counsel because in the multitude of counsel there is establishment so it is a sad thing because people are waiting on god but it's a sweet thing because there is no limit to anything whatsoever anything good whatsoever we can ever want to have anything we can desire to choose any action we can decide to take there is nobody limiting you apart from maybe something in your mind some something in your culture that is telling you this far and not any farther that is telling you you cannot be this you cannot be that you cannot do this you cannot do that but i can tell you and ultimately there is no one stopping you to make a decision other than your fear of the consequences of the decision that you are making especially if it's a life altering decision like Marty Samson's believe in god or don't believe in god it's a life altering decision and is oscillating between the two make a decision make a decision your mind is not blank your heart is not blank your conscience is not blank society is filled with a lot of information about it i mean make a decision already and move on and i'm not talking about marty i'm talking about you and i'm talking about me there are some things that we are living pending for quite too long things relating to our purpose things relating to our productivity why can't we just decide 
and move on every time there is a regression every time there is stagnation every time that things are not happening it is because of indecisiveness it is because of not making a decision not making a choice and every time <laughs> there's this thing i saw that there was a soldier in this battlefield i think it's a it's something i read or something i heard someone speak about a soldier in the battlefield in no man's land he was wearing halfway the enemy's uniform and halfway his own army's uniform guess what he was shot by both armies make a decision know where you were standing let us know okay let the universe know i know that's what you want to hear because you're going to get results depending on the decision that you've made the choice that you've made that is where your word is going to be shaped once you have grasped these statements you can have a revolution in your life and the world itself can have a revolution in your life because the world works with people who know where they are going there is this ancient roman saying that says the world the crowds and sometimes even death itself the grave they step aside for a man who knows where he is going but they sweep the aimless drift away get out of here so where are you going what decision are you making concerning your life for us as humans we have the means to choose what is good and what is bad and we make informed choices or informed decisions but i can tell you this when all things are constant when everything is considered constant and there is no pressure from outside one can make an informed choice one can make an informed decision and therefore our first calling is to knowledge it is to wisdom it is to understanding because from knowledge from wisdom from understanding we make a decision we make a choice and we move on and our lives are ordered by that decision if you look at your life today consciously or unconsciously you are experiencing what you are experiencing because of either making a decision consciously or making a decision unconsciously you cannot make a good choice without information you need information and therefore the question begs where do you get information about the choices of your life where do you get information about your purpose about your productivity where do you get the information from where is the input coming from i think the best place you can get information to make a meaningful choice in your life is where i went to get this material from from my heart this information comes from my spirit from my heart but i'm digressing but you see each passing day life is being shaped by the power of decisions made or unmade makes no difference life is shaped by that imagine with me for a minute if this guy called nelson mandela if he never made a decision to fight oppression do you think you will hear about him mm -mm, i don't think so imagine if this man called jesus christ made a decision not to descend on earth imagine that for a minute as in imagine this world without jesus it's a scary thought right yeah it is because billions upon billions of people's lives and even organizations they are shaped the economies of the world by the way are shaped by the belief or the unbelief of this figure and his teachings see in an instant a man can decide to be a better man in a matter of seconds just like that and everything about that man at least in the invisible realm every single detail about that man changes to support that decision to reinforce 
that decision. Every time you're making a decision, it is not flat. Things might not be happening in the immediate visible realm, but I guarantee you that in the invisible realm, things are aligned, start aligning themselves immediately. A decision is made. You might not be discovering your purpose because you never made a decision to do so. You might not be productive because you never made a conscious, intentional decision to do so. You might not be having this and that in your life because you never made a conscious, intentional decision to have those things. And in life, it is the power of decision making that will gravitate us towards the next levels. I know people normally talk about next level, man, next level, man, next level. That next level can be an instant thing by making a decision. Tony Robbins tells us that it is in the moment of decision making that our destinies are shaped. I'm talking destiny here. Marty Samson has a destiny. I do have a destiny. But that destiny is being shaped in the moments of decision making concerning life, concerning productivity, concerning purpose, concerning godliness, concerning anything that we want to have to do to be places we want to go, it is going to be as a result of decisions. So Tony tells us that it is in the moment of decision making that our destinies are shaped. And also Tony goes ahead and tells us this. He says, never leave the scene of making a decision without taking a step, at least a step to farm up the decision that you've made and i'm paraphrasing that because that's not exactly what he said but he said something to that effect see you are making a decision to listen to me today probably some people made a decision when they heard me engaging mighty samson not to listen not to continue listening to me it is a decision and your destiny is shaped by that decision you made a decision to listen your destiny probably is going to be shaped by it. You're going to hear me talking about purpose. You made a decision to wake up today and to be productive. Probably you're going to be productive. You made a decision not to go out there. You're not going to go out there and nothing is going to happen. Decisions, choices, they affect our destinies. Every small decision. And one thing that I've learned, by the way, is that every small decision you make, however obscure it is, does not just affect you. It affects many other people. And if you're not careful, it affects generations to come. We are normally told of the story of some guy, I've forgotten his name, who had his ancestry, I mean his lineage, had very many guys in prison. right? And then he's compared by someone else, I've forgotten the, their name, who has a lineage that is so rich, it has senators, it has presidents, it has governors, it has business people, it has pastors, and so on. Because of a decision. Two people years ago made a decision. One against one four. And those decisions shaped not just their destinies. But also the destinies of the generations that were coming after them. Victor E. Frankel in his book Man's Search for Meaning says that the last of human freedoms to choose one's attitude in any given set of circumstances, to choose one's own way. And he said that there used to be always moments and opportunities every day and every hour offered to make a decision, a decision which determined whether you would or would not submit to the powers which threatened to rob you of your very own self. Your inner freedoms which determined whether or not you become the plaything to circumstance, renouncing freedom and dignity. And I know we are not in the position that Victor E. Frankel and the rest of those guys who are suffering the Holocaust were in to be able to be pushed against the wall to make a decision to choose. But we do have peace. Probably you're listening to me and you are in peace. But have you made a decision concerning the way your life is going to be, that decision is going to affect your destiny. The worst we can do in seeming difficulties is to decide for the status quo. That's the worst we can be able to do. And I think I've said on this podcast very many times that the biggest robber of potential, the biggest robber of purpose and productivity, it is even the biggest robber of resilience, it is the status quo. 
I think we as human beings should never ever seek to maintain a particular status. Our quest should be to be better, to be richer, to be deeper, to be more impactful, to be more fulfilled, more involved, to be more, basically more every working day from one glory to the next. Since we were born to be the light of the earth. And so in this podcast I'm going to be sharing maybe in the next four episodes or so information to do with your decision making. How can we make decisions that will alter our destinies and uh, in the next podcast i'm going to discuss just about that there's this guy who say that um, without change something inside of us goes to sleep and it seldom awakens the sleeper must awaken and for that sleeper to awaken it will be in the moments of our decision making that our destinies will be shaped. So I'm going to give you four reasons in the next four episodes as to why as why we should make a choice and why we should make a decision for our lives. Thank you for listening so much and uh, bye-bye. Thank you for listening to Life Signatures Radio. If you enjoyed today's show, subscribe to Life Signatures Radio on iTunes, Stitcher, or visit our website at lifesignatures.libsyn.com. Life Signatures Radio, fresh, clean, and inspiring.